Seven free. We're in the sinners are accepted and respected by fixes in ways of the city. I don't know if the titles of the stages were always in caps or if I'm just now starting to shout them. Sorry's directions led us to an empty lot in the back streets. Oh man, that's such a good, such a good CG. Like at, at the risk of sounding like a, like a dumb boomer, and because it does sound a little bit like cliched, but this feels like old school Project Moon, doesn't it? Like the high rise towers in the background and like the just dilapidated buildings here. Oh, this is good. This is good. I've always liked the back streets more than the nest stuff we've seen in the Cantos, I think. I'm not sure if Canto 5 had any any back streets or like Canto 3 even. But we've been through the back streets in a lot of them. And it's just always more atmospheric, you know? I mean, maybe it's like the s sterile feeling that you get from the nest that is just not very interesting for me. But this is pretty good. This is like, this is peak, peak Project Moon uh, environmental design, I think. It's free real estate. <laughs> oh my god. Fucking. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a little yeah, <clears throat> I guess, I guess Virgilius knows that, no, oh, pardon me, <clears throat> oh, Jesus, uh, Virgilius knows that, uh, there's, there's just no helping us, right, and we, we, we just can't help ourselves, he's given up on the slim hope that we won't be getting into any trouble without him. So, then, let's go to the The empty lot was surrounded by all kinds of warning signs and perimeter tapes deterring anyone from haphazardly wandering inside. And when we reached out to grab the tapes to duck under them? Hey, 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 hey. That scared me a little. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> a voice rig out, stopping us in our tracks. The, the? Okay, let's see. Hopefully this person has a sprite. And so far, just like the character design in this chapter has been 11 out of 10, thanks to Cesara. Let's see how they design it, dude. Mm. Mm. Yes. Yes, that's pretty good. I like it. I like the face. It, it looks different to stuff we've seen before. In fact, if you had a little bit more pointy nose, it would look very much like the stuff the, the Kaiji offer draws. Um, but I do like it. I like the color. Something written on the side, I can't quite read it. It's like A L T E L T L T something alternate maybe, alternative. I, I like the little. There seem to be a lot of uh, triangles in this chapter. <laughs> Cesara had a lot of triangles too. Just thinking back on them makes me. <laughs> oh, I think I'm blushing. I wonder if a lot of civilians walk around the city with the weapons drawn because that's what the sinners are doing. At least if we take the um, character sprites as like at face value. Uh, also, we, we look very uniform thanks to our uniforms. We look like a like a group of people could be fixes you know just saying i don't know why he immediately expected us not to be fixes at least two of us i believe are fixes ishmael is one right um who who else what was like a proper fixer in the past was it was it otis no otis was like kind of army general or something there was a second fixer among the sinners but i just can't remember right now well, whatever. The comments will, like, the commenters will rip me and help me at the same time, which is exactly how I like it. 잠깐만. 뭐죠? 
왜 저만 쳐다보면서 오! 우리를 걱정해주는 것인가? 괜찮네! 괜찮아! 비록 아직 해결사는 아니지만 정의를 위해 목숨을 불사하고 싸운다는 그 마음만큼은 모두가 매한 가지지! Don q u i x o t confidently leaps over the warning tape and scampers into the empty lot. Uh, 여기가 뭐 하는데 이제 알고 들어오는 자네들처럼 우리 또한 의뢰를 받았다네. 라만 차렌드 토마르네 마리세. I could practically hear everyone in the empty lot turning around to look at us. Looks on their eyes could hardly be described as friendly. In fact, their alarm at our arrival was palpable. That's when one of the fixers, wielding a massive weapon, strode in our direction. Oh, please have a sprite. 너희도 yes. 사냥하러 온 놈들이라고. Mm, he looks like a vampire hunter, doesn't he? I accidentally watched the video teasing the new identities. I swear to God, it was accidental. I was browsing YouTube on my phone, and there was like this one minute thirty uh, Project Moon video that I just just randomly clicked on, and it it. Suddenly, it was Otis seductively whispering in my ear, as she usually does, really. And Hong Lu being a vampire hunter, I believe. <laughs> Very cool design for both characters. I, uh, as we all know, more belts is more good and more edgy. So I kind of like it. Uh, uh, 아이고, Bye. The obnoxious guy, who was clearly way in over his head, hurried away, and the giant of a fixer stomped his way into the conversation. And the other fixers shook their heads as though they knew what was about to happen. I guess Limbus Company is not that well known outside of like niche circles. That know what we are doing, and the circles really seem to be high ups of of the corporation somehow. Like word of mouth is spreading among these very high positions. I mean, the T Corp guy, like the actual CEO of T Corp, right? That's what was happening in Time Killing Time. <laughs> He knows us now, very well actually. And then like Cesara, the head manager of Giving Head, knows us. Um. Some some other corporations, I'm pretty sure, like K Corp, K Corp, K, K Crazy K Corp girl, right? She knows this. Hmm, we're, we're making like we're we're making waves in either the right or the wrong circles. I I can't tell. 대체 몇 명이 더 기어 들어오는 거지? 어중이 떠중이가 늘어나는 걸 보니 네 놈들이 기대하는 토벌 금액도 계속 줄어들어서 나중에 거스름 돈이나 손에 쥘수 있을지 걱정이군. Oh. That's why you're wrong. We're all gonna fight over it. Don't worry. I know this. <sighs> 언제 얼마나 됐다고? 시비 거는 놈이 벌써 두 명이냐? Damn! If we're going by like, like character, like buffness, seeing Heathcliff next to this guy makes Heathcliff look really small. I mean, his head is slightly bigger, so we assume he's like closer than Heathcliff's sprite, right? But even then, like he's so wide, he's really, really big. Heathcliff is actually very lean and muscular. 오세는 송곳니 사냥 사무소라고 써 있긴 하다만, 어 송곳니 사냥이라 하면. Disregard that, Don. Imagine, just he could pick you up by your fucking head and toss you around. He's so big. <laughs> Fang Hunt office. No. 실제로 본 적은 있나? 무엇을 말인가? <laughs> If he knew that he was talking to like some kind of vampire queen or something, the second kindred or whatever she's called, which if if it works in in the like same power levels as like um, the world of darkness, she would pretty much be one embraced by Cain himself, right? And there were only three of them, as far as I'm aware. Like Cain had three children. I don't know their names. Like, if you want to read up on World of Darkness law, man, I am so interested in World of Darkness. But it's it, like the law is spread out across like a hundred thousand books, really, like all of these rule books and stuff. And like, I myself actually like novellas more than I like these these just rule book excerpts of like 
what is happening in the law. So it's very hard for me to, to go through these and think, oh yeah, yeah, this is interesting and this is good and I'm gonna remember this. <clears throat> also, like, the, the book, the World of Darkness books, quality-wise, they are even worse than, like, the Shadowrun ones because when I read, like, a, a Shadowrun fiction novel, I haven't read a bad one yet, right? And I have read, like, I don't know, maybe 30 or something of them. But with the, with the World of Darkness ones... <laughs> I started a few, <laughs> and the authors seem to be inserting their, like, personal taste of what the World of Darkness should be quite heavily. So it seems like they are not as tightly regulated what they write. I don't, I don't know. I can't, maybe I can't judge it yet. Maybe I haven't been into this, in this universe as much as I, as I should have, or as I could have. There are some people watching me that are very, um knowledgeable about World of Darkness. And if you're one of them, shout out to you. I appreciate you watching me. I appreciate you watching me play the World of Darkness games as well. Um, there, are, there are more World of Darkness games out there. Plugging them right now in a Limbus video, right? That might be coming, might not be coming. Who knows? I, I would be very much interested in playing a Werewolf game, for example. Yeah, I just mentioned a werewolf in a chapter that is entirely about blood fiends, i.e. vampires. Dante's about to sweat profusely. <laughs> he's gonna go, he's, he's gonna like, like, like um, do the thing on his collar where he, where he tries to, to breathe easy. He's gonna go, oh shit, blood fiends, really? Oh no. <laughs> Yes, they have conviction. They want to hunt vampires. I can understand that, and I can support that, because I, for one, I like to hunt heretics. <laughs> I'm a, I'm an NCORP member. I like to hunt, like prosthetic users. This event has a special meaning for the people. It is not just about killing the people's blood. Yes, yes, this is pretty much like a like a throwback to chapter 3, isn't it, right? That's, that's why Sinclair looks somewhat worried as well, right? He can understand that. He has seen this before. We all have. <laughs> oh, what did she mean by this? I don't understand. <laughs> wow. When the fuck did Sinclair grow a pair of balls? I can't believe it. It must have happened gradually. I think Claire, Ryosh, and Honglu actually make a really good, um, good group of sinners. Kind of funny together. So different, yet so fitting. Uh, what happens if we accidentally kill someone? I know we're not gonna be allowed to do so, they're gonna run away at the end of the fight, but could they really hold it against us? 
팔다리 정도만 적당히 부러지게 만들어주지 <웃음> 딱 집으로 돌아가고 싶어질 만큼 Oh god, like telling, telling Heathcliff to, to send him home, like that's gonna trigger him 집으로 돌아가는 열차를 타면서 우리에게 고마워해라 결규에게 비참하게 피를 빨아먹히는 것보다는 이 편이 더 나을 테니 We don't take the train? We're, we're going by bus, thank you very much. This is gonna be interesting because you guys haven't seen my team composition for this yet. Angela, please, I'm talking and I'm not gonna stop, right? Even if you keep yapping on, I'm gonna do the same, Angela. Good. Okay, she's gone. Um, interesting, we have nine enemies in one wave. Um, so this is just gonna be reinforcements. Oh, does this change really? I guess, like, it's gonna refill even if one of them dies. That's what it means. Instead of, like, them coming in a group in a wave. Um, so my team I chose for this Kanto. At least so far, because obviously there's gonna be new ideas released every once in a while. And I might change stuff around. Actually, I'm very interested to see the new Otis ID. If I can pull it, that is. Um, I've chosen a poise team. I, I tried to go with haste first. Haste and, like, the Shidon. Uh, I thought to myself, I'm gonna gimp myself, I'm gonna handicap myself by choosing like a tier 2 Don identity. Because I do think they're much more interesting than the tier 3 ones. The tier 3 ones for Don are like the, the Tremor one, uh, W Corp, and um, the, the Middle Sister. I've played the Middle Sister extensively, really like it, really cool, really strong if you build like an Envy team. Um, but just not that thematically interesting as like it was either this one or the she one this is the blade lineage salsa one the she one while interesting and while having a very cool um skill free just not as strong as this because this is scaling offense level wise identity level plus four which is some of the highest scaling i think there are some plus fives like identity level plus five but very rarely and then this one had like scaling with um dealing more damage on headsets so i built some passives around it i think hong lu has one it's very hard to get like all of the passives on the same character because they also have like these conditions of like lowest hp character or like slowest character or something but if it does align it can get pretty potent i guess it also has like this stuff on like crit giving poise to more allies and getting like slash damage up like this has like if i see a lot of text that's a lot of interest, right? It's very, very cool, but I don't read it pretty much. Like, I don't know what it does, but it's a lot of text, so a lot of it must be happening. And then I thought, like, how could I complement the Blade Lineage Check stuff, more Blade Lineage stuff, <laughs> with, like, more poise? And I was looking at, like, this identity, which is, uh, in my opinion, like, the Rioche Edgar family one, which is, that is Nelly, right? It's supposed to be Nelly. Utterly fucking broken. Utterly broken with, like, the, the clash power stuff and gaining seven poise count on use for this for the skill so strong so strong really and the bm stuff like scaling it even higher when when it has like uh like bm here and like the passes with gaining haste and deal more crit damage which scales poise there's no other way to scale poise poise is like a damage multiplier but there's not a lot of identities that can scale the crit damage. So that's actually pretty cool. And I I just love Ishma. I don't know what to say. She's also like a mate. Uh, her sinking doesn't really do much in this um, in this setup. However, she also inflicts slash fragility and bind. Bind always a welcome thing to help clashing. Defense level down is pretty cool. Uh, however, she might be the first one to go if I get like a, a different identity that I want to fit into this team. Yeah, also, if, if Don like gets a cool identity, we might switch the entire composition altogether. For now, the only thing I can do is like press win rate and fucking lose my first clashes, I can't believe it. No. Oh, we're fighting him immediately? I didn't even check. He has like rookie numbers HP. Skill freeze of like this team don't deal that much damage, like there's no crazy ones among them. But um, they can roll very high at least. And when they crit they also do some damage. 
I also like the the animation style for the mates with like them throwing out these daggers or whatever. So the overall theme will most likely be for the first part of the script. Uh, and again, mind you, I plan on like instead of doing it like I did with the last chapter where it recorded episode to episode pretty much, I plan on pre-recording a lot of it this time whenever it releases. Uh, the overall theme will be will be poised, like it's poised. Maybe we'll switch over to blade. There's some overlap with, with Poison Blade, but that's more the, the Kurokumu guys, I think, rather than the Blade Lineage ones. Faust has a little bit of Blade with like the, the plum passive stuff. Don is killing shit. And isn't she cute? Isn't she cute? Oop. So the fighting stages will work the same as as they have been in the past few uh, cantos when recording. Just like new enemies, I'm gonna <coughs> gonna record it and talk while we take a look at what is happening. But overall, I'm gonna treat it as like just just boring auto battle type of thing. Where if we've seen it before, I'm just gonna speed it up. If the target is a blood fiend or a blood bag, deal 10% more damage. I wonder if it's gonna be... Angela, please. Uh, if it's gonna be revealed that... Um, actually, give me... It's like flying... Got it! Got it, okay. Sorry, I just had to catch it. Um, I wonder if they're gonna reveal that Don is a blood fiend, so this passive actually does something later down the line. When hitting an enemy with an attack spell, skill, rupture, more damage when rupture. If this unit has bleed, was lose one bleed count, so bleed is not good against these guys, which is thematically accurate. Should be strong against blood fiends. Blood fiends most likely inflict bleed, right? Because they love blood. Damn. I would love to receive some arts from Rioche in this outfit. Just French maid costumes are peak, aren't they? All right, see, the crits really do work here. And the poise sticks up quite nicely if you have, like, people giving poise to each other. I don't know if they buffed it up or if it's, like, some up type 4. Not all of them are up type 4, mind you. So not, not all of them are up type 4, but... Um, that will come later down the line, right? Oh, not, also, not every, everyone is... Um, Level 50 yet? I think I used like a level 50 ticket on the Ishmael one, but she's the weakest out of them. Just look at this. And I leveled Dawn up to level 50 with another level 50 ticket out of the battle pass. And look at the damage! It's pretty good, isn't it? She's dealing more damage than Ryosh. Even in a shorter encounter like that, 500 damage is pretty nice, isn't it? I'm very happy with this identity, actually. I think... I, I think... Play players should use more tier 2 identities. Like, just full stop. Instead of always going for, like, the best characters and the b highest bonus and, the, like, the biggest numbers, just have some fun. Just build themes. Uh, and, like, thematic themes uh, around themes, pretty much. Like, just go full blade lineage, if you can. I mean, I could have gone full blade lineage with, like, including Mersold as well. But I I think if you include the blade lineage Mersold character, you need to build around him. And I wanted to build around Dawn. Another thing I considered was like getting the sync done, like the one with the duel, and trying to get as many buffs as possible on her when she like declares duel on a character, so she's really strong. But I didn't have enough uh, crates anymore to to dispense her, so like I don't know that identity pretty much. Other than that, what, what was I talking about? Yeah, just uh, like stop using like the strongest stuff and just start having fun like i'm having a lot of fun with with these in the mirror dungeon as well and i get my ass kicked in the mirror dungeon with this team seven four of what befell our company upon our departure from the red gaze's hands
대체 그런 변신 기술은 듣도 보도 못한 기술을 쓰는군 야, 이 정도면 혈기 들이고 먹어 죽사발 만들 조건은 되냐? 그래, 이 정도면 인정할 수밖에 없지 What do you mean, some skill? Didn't we just wipe the floor with them? Oh, 생각보다 괜찮은 놈들이 왔는데? 제 몫을 할줄 아는 해결사는 언제나 환영이지 Ah, oh, shit, this guy looks like he fucks women Sure, oh, now I'm about to be fucking anti-art, aren't I? 이제 보니 너희 전에 워프 승강장 앞에서 떠들던 개들이구나 되게 바빠 보이던 아, 나는 로메로야 로메로 일행이 싸우는데 뒤에서 구경하고 있었던 건가? 처음부터 구경했던 건 아니고 중간부터 봤어. 어차피 얘네들은 말려도 내 말을 잘안 듣거든. 그리고 아까 보니까 쉽게 당할 실력도 아니길래. 이해해줘. 나쁜 친구들은 아니야. 혈기들을 사냥할 때 온갖 일에 겪다 보니 조금 예민한 거지. Mm, yeah, I've been etching too ever since I've seen Cesara. Yeah. 그런 존재를 사냥하다 보면 많은 것에 의구심을 품을 수밖에 없을 테니. 사실 나도 얘들 의견에 부분적으로는 동의해. 토벌 상대에 비해서 피사와 하나 옆에서 내건 토벌 참가 조건은 지나칠 정도로 분별력이 떨어져. 나였다면 그런 식으로 조건에 낮춰서 모집하진 않았을 거야. What do you think the risk level of this actually is? His friendly smile faltered slightly as he gestured around the empty lot. 저쪽 천막 주위를 둘러봐. 뭘 알고서 온 놈들이 있긴 하는지. 이런 건 전문가에게 맡기는 게 제일 안전했을 텐데 말이야. Around the command tent? We all simultaneously turned to look at the large noisy tent. 여러분들 봤어? Oh my god. Good lord. IRL streaming is a thing in the Project Moon universe? I cannot believe it. Also, this confirms that we have phones. Like actual fucking smartphones. Does this break a lot of stuff in universe? Like, couldn't a lot of this stuff have been like prevented by, by having phones or something? Always thought that it was like a high high slash low technology setting where like some stuff is so technologically advanced it is fantasy, whereas other stuff just hasn't been thought of yet, like smartphones. <laughs> oh my god! Also, is is he like um? That's like the Mersault identity they released recently, right? What is that again? Isn't that also like Sync? And in the distance, we saw some guy running his mouth and striking several exaggerated dramatic poses at a tiny device, most likely a camera of sorts. Okay, maybe it's just a camera with a camera at the back as well. Which is like a phone, pretty much. Um, fuck, I'm not a fan of IL, IRL streamers, so like... You you must have gotten this by now by me like not having a webcam or something just plastered across the screen that I don't think it's important what I look like or what people think I look like or whatever. Tell me what you think I look like actually. And I will tell you that I most likely look worse than what you think. <laughs> no, I'm not I don't know. Am I ugly? Who the fuck knows? Who the fuck cares? I got to spread my seed already. I did my part in life. I no. We have all had experience with someone like him in the past. Oh yeah, Siegfried. That guy reminds me of a certain someone. Yeah, but Siegfried wasn't live streaming, was he? I can't remember. He ran around for a while, visiting every corner of the empty lot, trying to get every detail in the frame, and suddenly started striding towards us in an annoyed gait. I think, like, there would be one case where I would do something akin to like an IRL recording or stream. And I didn't do it last time. But I I think I would be up for like having some kind of vlog when, when I go to on a holiday or something. 
Because then I could not dox myself. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure like if I go out there and I, I muse over something, like it would be all video game related still because this channel is about video games. Um, but if I go out there and I take a walk and I record myself, I'm pretty sure people could like triangulate where I live and stuff and like I'm not a big fan of that. It, it shouldn't matter where I live or who I am really again. Um, but I can see myself like my last holiday was pretty nice. I went to like the sea. And I think it could have could have made for a pretty good video, but I only came up with the idea afterwards. So if I go on holiday again next year, maybe, um, maybe I'll do one of these. Like there's some things I desperately want to talk about related to video games. I just need the right setting for it, and um, I thought about just using video game footage in the background. But this could work as well. Uh, some things Project Moon related as well, which might be coming sooner rather than later. Iba noi. It's like a a typical like beautiful boy as well, right? What what are they called again? B B Shonen or something? Like what like the beautiful boys? <laughs> <laughs> Whipped his attention back to the camera as though he was pretending not to hear what Ishmael said. Or as if he decided that her words weren't worth entertaining. Ah, 지금 내가 어디 왔냐고? 너무 놀라지 마. 바로 바로 피사가 있는 16구 뒷골목이지. 맞아. 지난번에 피사 150년산 아이스크림 반영구 통조림 후기 방송 다들 기억하지? 그런데 아쉽게도 오늘은 아이스크림을 먹으러 온게 아니야. So I don't think he's a color because otherwise Don would have recognized him immediately and shouted out his name or something. Which means that he must be a very high grade fixer. So can you make a living as a high grade fixer live streaming though? Or is he like doing this as a hobby because he's like vain or something? Yeah, who, who am I even talking to, Gregor? I don't know most of the time either. Amado. 방송을 보고 있는 자기 시청자들한테 말하고 있는 것 같아요. 모종의 방송 호스트라는 느낌이 드는군. 최근 일부 도시에서는 카메라를 통해 간단한 방송을 송출하는 문화가 유행이라는 것 같다. I don't know what to think of this. I, like this seems too, too like too much real life. I don't, I don't need them to include the concept of live streaming in this game actually. 무례한 작자네. Maybe live streaming is like a huge, huge problem or something in Korea. So much so that they want to like include this in their writing. So she does know him, interestingly. <laughs> the grumbling sinners clearly existed outside Don Quixote's world. She was breathing very heavily, a look of admiration clear on her face. <laughs> But you didn't shake his hand, though. Of course, no one shook hands or exchanged the simplest pleasantries with Camille just yet. 